Willard, I hate to bring this up, but you owe me a little back pay. I do? $11,000. <laughs> Was that the phone? Good morning. I'm sorry I'm late. I have a fantastic excuse. You bumped into Robert Redford in the shower. <laughs> Better. Well, different. <laughs> While the two of you were asleep in your beds, dreaming of available men and rich women, <laughs> respectively, <laughs> I was already on the road across town taking a step toward my independence. Hold on to your socks. This morning, I bought my very first... Did you tell him about your new car yet? <laughs> wanted to tell him. Well, go ahead. <laughs> well, anyway, congratulations. It's right outside. I helped to pick it out. You want to see it? Huh? huh? <laughs> Sorry. Well, do you want to see it? Sure. I love machines. <laughs> My very first car. Ta-da! Classy. Sure, I drove one of those to my first high school prom. <laughs> what you drove to your high school prom had teeth. Boy. You should have seen the hot police cruiser she passed up. It still has the siren. What was in your head? Now listen, dear, I think you made a fine choice. I put a hundred down, and Smiling Dan said I was good for the rest. A mere five... Five hundred big ones. <laughs> Smiling Dan? Smiling Dan had a sunrise sale. You know, 10% off if you buy before the sun comes up. <laughs> Hi, Mom, what's up? Look outside, Joe, that's what's up. I can't see anything but this old wreck of a car. <laughs> that's right. Wow, you did it! You bought me a car! <laughs> it's our car. Will you give me a ride to school? I'm sorry, Joey. I have to go to work. Go ahead. Blow it out. <laughs> oh, may I help you? Are you Gloria Bunker or something? Stivic. Right. I'm from Smiling Dance. There's a problem? Oh, is something wrong with the car? Something's wrong with your credit. My credit? Smiling Dan called your bank. He ain't smiling no more. <laughs> well, obviously the bank has the wrong Gloria Bunker Stizik. I need the keys. No, look, Mike. Uh, my name's Jerry. Mike got fired. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I got his job. <laughs> Can't you just wait a little while before you take back the car? How little? An hour or two. A month tops. No. <laughs> Please, just long enough for me to straighten this out with the bank. Please, if ever a woman has done anything nice for you, just give me this chance. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll come back this afternoon. I'll just take these as collateral. Oh, you're a beautiful person, Jerry. I'll come back after I repossess my brother's mobile home. <laughs> Your own brother? Mike. <laughs> Boy, this banker will change his tune when he sees all my financial records, including my University of California Santa Barbara Faculty Credit Union credit card. Must be a very large card. <laughs> Mr. Copley? Yeah. Um, I was told to see you. I'm Gloria Bunker Stivic. Ah, yes, the indigent divorcee. <laughs> Mr. Copley, Gloria, is Maggie. anything but you... I'll handle this. Oh. Well, I, I have some banking to do. If I don't make a deposit, checks will be bouncing all over town. <laughs> I'll meet you outside. So, you are the rejected $500 loan. That's me, but I think you're going to change your mind when you see all of these records covering 12 years and thousands of dollars of credit card and loan transactions. You'll see that not only do I have a head for fine figures, but I have a reputation for prompt payment and extra neat penmanship. And this is Michael Stewart. That's me. Not anymore, little lady. <laughs> all this is 
Moot. Moot? With your divorce, none of your history matters. These 12 years don't count? Not in the eyes of our nation's bankers. <laughs> Have a nice day. I can give you 12 good reasons why you should give me a loan. Go. I have a steady job with good pay. Oh, you quit Dr. Adams' vet clinic? No. Then while the job is steady, the pay isn't. Next. I have my savings account here. $37.16. Next. Okay. Here it is. I'm a mother. So was Ma Barker. <laughs> but worse than her, you are a childbearing age. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any minute you could become pregnant, quit your job. Pregnant? <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since... <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but it won't. I have no plans for another child. But the risk is still there, just ticking away. I am not ticking. <laughs> I'm not even dating. <laughs> You're thinking sexual discrimination, right? Wrong. If men were as unreliable as women, I would be the first to deny them alone. So, you're telling me that the only way I can get alone is if I get back together with Michael? Now, that'd be a pretty solid start. Forget it. Well, if you can establish credit, I'll give you a loan. And just how do I establish credit? By getting a loan. <laughs> Isn't there any way I can get this money? Well, if, if you're interested, I can think of one other way. What a sleazy proposal! Oh, oh no! Oh, God, no! <laughs> no? Oh, no, no. No, uh, what I meant was get someone to co-sign you. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> that way, if, if you default on the loan, then the co-signer assumes the responsibility. A co-signer? Right. Uh, just a minute, please. Maggie? Don't desert me again, huh? <laughs> what? Will this experienced professional do? Do for what? A $500 loan. Will you co-sign for me? Me? Please. What have I got to lose? $500. <laughs> Mr. Copley. This is Dr. Mary Margaret, my very, very good friend, Lawrence. Ah, yes, the overextended businesswoman. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, you're, you're not acceptable. Why not? I've had my checking account in this bank for years. That's why. <laughs> yeah, those darn childbearing years. Hello? Hello? Listen, kiddo, I think it's shameful the way they are treating you. I am an adult. I have run a home. I'm raising a son. I have a job, but I have no credit rating. Me too? It's simply because I have no money. Me too? It's simply because I'm a woman. Your turn, Willard. <laughs> I've been so naive. If you can't borrow money, what good are you? Well, I never have a problem. Borrowing money, I mean, the bank just throws it at me. Sure, because you're a man. Au contraire. <laughs> Why, it, it's because I was born into a phenomenally wealthy family. Clark, I was thinking... Oh, gee, I'd love to, Gloria, but Dad has forbidden me to co-sign anything ever since that silly incident in college. What incident? My fraternity brothers tried to buy an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, you're a little early. My brother wasn't home. <laughs> now his home isn't home. <laughs> Any uh, could you come back? Hey, 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 you got the bread or not? No. Sorry. Don't worry, dear. You can borrow my truck any time. Thank you. No, thank you. Absolutely not. That does it. That is the last straw. I'm going to get that Buick. I don't know how, but I will. As God is my witness, I will never be dependent again. May I borrow the truck? <laughs>
<laughs> it embarrasses your family. We're going to be disgraced. We'll just have to send him away somewhere. Scares your friends. <laughs> when good hair goes bad. An evening of your favorite TV Land characters tangling with bad dye jobs, woeful wigs, and haircut hack work. I'm completely bald. See why bad hair equals great TV. So funny. When good hair goes bad. Tuesday, December 10th, starting at 8 p.m. on TV Land. Have you tried Rolaids? Two great new flavors. They're tropical, cool, smooth. New tropical punch and cool strawberry. Try Rolaids, the perfect blend of fast relief and great taste. Need proof that Scoop Away's new odor fighters control odor better than tidy cats? Hmm. Ha! Scoop Away controls stinky odors better. When you've got a lot to accomplish, a little reward goes a long way. The Crawlin' Cruise Playground, only from Fisher-Price. It'll have them up and down and bopping around. Oh, the possibilities. Discover more at fisherprice.com. If you suffer from allergies, it can feel like there's no relief in sight. But soon, non-drowsy prescription-strength Claritin will be available for the first time without a prescription. So relief is closer than you think. In fact, December 11th, it will be as close as your nearest Walgreens. Prescription Strength Claritin provides non-drowsy relief from many kinds of allergies, and it is the most prescribed allergy medication. Prescription Strength Claritin, without a prescription. Coming to Walgreens December 11th. Hello? Hank, it's your dad. I'm at the electronics store, and I... I think I made a big mistake. You're kidding. I was already here. PCs were right there. It looks so easy. But if I don't get some help, Dad, I should have just listened to you. They don't even have what I'm looking for. Dad, I told you. For your perfect PC, just call Dell, and they'll help you get the PC you need at a great price. It's easy. I don't need a candy cane. Oh, Hold on, I'll get you some help. That's my father. You're pretty much his only hope. Thank you for calling Dell, Mr. Sabian. I'm on the phone. Ow! Stop it. Call or go online now and get a Dimension desktop with a flat panel display for just $6.99 after a $100 mail-in rebate. Featuring an Intel Pentium 4 processor for today's digital entertainment. Recording music, sharing photos, gaming, and beyond. Right now, you'll get free shipping. Get great deals on notebooks, too. Intel. Could you get me a Dell? For holiday shopping done smart, it's easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. You're watching a last episode box set. Stay tuned. Are you afraid of her, too? <laughs> but today, she's been badgering me about money. Well, if you really want to avoid her, you and I could catch a double feature matinee. The Bijou is showing To Kill a Mockingbird, and they shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> Maybe next week. Kid. Great, great. They'll be running Bambi and the Deer Hunter. Clark, I have an errand to run at lunch. Tell Dr. Adams. He's not here. I haven't seen him behind this desk all day. <laughs> I see. You couldn't. <laughs> Willard, aren't you a little old to be playing hide-and-seek? I'm not hiding. I am thinking. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? <laughs> Are you thinking of a way to pay me what you owe me? No, I'm thinking about how to save Gloria. Now listen, Gloria will have no problem whatsoever if we all pool our money and then we co-sign her note. Willard, that's a wonderful idea. That's right, and to start the ball rolling, I'm going to put in every cent that I have. Six dollars. <laughs> I have twenty. So that's 26 between us. Are you sure that you don't have more? 
Not a cent. And you? I'm lucky I have the 20. Well, I've got 50,000. <laughs> but my dad won't let me touch it till I'm 42. <laughs> Something? Uh, yes. I need money. Why aren't I surprised? <laughs> <coughs> I need $500 for a car. Look, honey, I don't want to know what you want the money for. That way, when I'm called to testify, I know nothing. <laughs> I see. Well, here it is. Here we go. This is it. These are just a few of the valuable remnants from a 12-year marriage. It must have been a fun marriage. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that's not what you think. My husband and I wore those to a costume party as Julius and Ethel Rosenberg. <laughs> What's this? Well, that's a garage door opener. Does it work? You bet. Right now, in Santa Barbara, there's a garage door opening. <laughs> Call me sentimental. Um, I'll give you 30 bucks for the lot. I'll throw in my stunning turquoise purse. 25. <laughs> 500, not a dollar less. You're very new at this, aren't you? I'm desperate. I've been rejected by every loan company and bank in town. I don't know where else to turn. Where's a nice, decent woman supposed to get her hands on $500? Not a clue. <laughs> Isn't there anything from your marriage that's worth a damn? <laughs> Dr. Willard Adams, DBM. Ah, yes, the destitute country vet. Well, I didn't know that my reputation had spread to the banking community, sir. Like a fungus. <laughs> Have a seat, sir. Thank you, sir. I am here about co-signing Gloria Bunker Stivick's automobile loan. I have already explained to Dr. Lawrence... Yes, that I am totally worthless? Yes. All right, but what if I could deposit $300? Then could I sign her loan? Mr. Copley, well, thanks. Willard. Dr. Lawrence, your partner is here doing what you called me about. What? Willard, what are you doing in this bank? Bank? Is this a bank? I thought it was a church. <laughs> Where did all that money come from? Give me back that. You're no priest. <laughs> I need to bring me an aspirin. Uh, Willard, what are you doing here? Uh, he's trying to open an account. Yeah, what the hell are you doing here? Well, she wants to make a deposit. Shh. Well, you said on the phone that... Oh, you... you've got money. Well, a, a little. Make uh -huh. that two aspirin. <laughs> Certainly not as much as that. You said $250. Oh, well, I... You I know guess... what she said to me? That she only had 20. Well, you told me that you only had six. So you both lied. Ah, <laughs> I'm stunned. Now, uh, if the two of you would like to open a joint account... No, no, be... never, never. She lied to me. Oh, forgive his outburst. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's not be childish. Just who are you calling childish? Yeah, who are you calling child? Oh, well, I meant nothing by that. Ah, now, yeah. let me just ask you this. Now, if I were crazy enough to open an account with this, this, this... Man, could we co-sign the loan? Well, certainly. In time. In Why? time, in time, you see. Let's go, Maggie. I've had enough of this banking buffoon. And I am pulling all my accounts from this bank, mister. And I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when the board of directors wants to know what happened to that $71.60. <laughs> member of the FDIC. <laughs> Just about everyone I know has battled with a stripped screw. But for me, it was the cabinets of 85. Mm. Stripped screws? 
Ooh, see them all the time, especially those soft brass ones. Man, it wasn't pretty. It's okay, guys. There's really been no easy way to remove a strip screw until now. It's the innovative Craftsman Screw-Out Damage Screw Removers. Available only from Sears, it's the fast, easy way to remove damaged screws. This I gotta see. Okay, come on. Here, try this out. Unlike ordinary screwdrivers or driver bits that continue to strip the screw, the Craftsman Screw-Out Damaged Screw Removers are able to dig in, get that needed resistance, and twist the screw out. Wow, that was impressive. Made of heavy-duty steel, it's tough and durable, and it can work with either a drill or a hand driver. Where do I get one? Just call and get this versatile set of three different size bits and case for only $19.99, or head over to Sears. So, Bob, will it work on a hex head? Sure, and lots more. Phillips, slotted, Torx, square recess, you name it. If the head's still there, this guy's gonna get it out. And it'll do it without damaging the surrounding surface. Will it work on my boat? Screw out damaged screw removers will work on just about anything with a damaged screw, from your new furniture to that old red wagon. From the front gate to the back door. Even works on rusted screws. Painted over screws, too. Yup, Craftsman makes anything possible. Call now and get your three Craftsman screw out damaged screw removers for only $19.99. Or head to Sears. It's an essential tool for do-it-yourselfers, professionals, anyone who uses a drill or screwdriver. Craftsman screw out damaged screw removers. The easy way out. To order your set of three Craftsman Screw-Out Damage Screw Removers, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-451-8811. That's 1-800-451-8811. Willard, there's the truck. Here she comes. Great. Oh, she's going to love this. I never knew the generosity could be such fun. If you're looking for a great time, try paying me what you owe me. <laughs> can only handle so much joy. Hi! Ah, we've been waiting for you. I'm sorry I missed work. I have a great excuse. Bob Redford again? <laughs> no. I've been out being turned down by every sleazy loan company in town. Doesn't matter. Gloria? Sure Freeman. it does. So then... Just I... a moment. You are interrupting my darling partner. Thank you, Willard. Thank you, my love. <laughs> anyway, we couldn't do anything about your lousy credit, but at least we got you a little something. What? Well, didn't you notice anything when you drove in? No. There's an old, beat-up, rusty... Uh... Beautiful car. <laughs> you got me a car. one Willard rode to his prom. I don't know what to say. Nobody ever bought me a car. Well, I guess it was pretty generous, but that's the kind of a guy I am. <laughs> that's the kind of a guy we are. We pulled our emergency funds since this was an emergency. You spent all of your money on a car for me. I hope you like it. It was all we could afford. And now you're broke. Uh, I'm used to it. Thanks to you, Willard. Don't spoil the moment. <laughs> the important thing is that you have a car. I have two cars. <laughs> I rebought the Buick. How? I got a loan. How? I deposited $600. How? I pawned my engagement ring. How? Too late. <laughs> I'm not too thrilled about pawning it either, but at least that ring can do more for me this way than it could ever do stashed in a drawer. It's establishing credit for Ms. Gloria Bunker Civic. It's ingenious. And if I'm real smart with my money, I can get it back. <laughs> Oh, Gloria, in the future, I will probably come to you for advice and alone. Oh. 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 What is the cost? Did you guys hear my siren? <laughs> Yeah. Gloria, I couldn't put the blame.
black and white in your name because of that silly aircraft carrier. But anytime you want to use it, it's yours. Thank you, Clark. <laughs> but I won't be needing it because I own a Buick. And a Pinto. And a Pinto. So I suppose you don't want to go for a high-speed ride. Sure. <laughs> Dibs on shotgun. <laughs> You can give me a ride back to Smile and Dance to pick up my Buick. Maggie, Dr. Adams, you in a mood for a hot pursuit? Always. <laughs> <laughs> it's been weeks since I've been in a police car. It's years for me. I rode home from my prom in one. <laughs> Sitcom. But after the ride was over, typecasting made subsequent roles scarce for a mule, a rooster, a polecat. There was the occasional commercial, a few ill-fated spin-offs, a tell-all memoir. Some made headlines of a different sort. See the critters in their pride. Watch the Beverly Hillbillies next.